Is there a fate worse than death? Can there be circumstances in which a criminal would willingly choose capital punishment over a lifetime behind bars? As surreal as it may seem, there exist prisons in this world where the death penalty appears to be a more merciful option. These prisons are plagued by unspeakable horrors that can turn one's stomach. In this video, we will explore 10 of the most notorious of these facilities. Brace yourself, as the stories we're about to delve into are deeply unsettling. Number 1. Camp 22. North Korea. Camp 22 in North Korea is not merely a single prison facility. It comprises a network of detention camps spread across the length of North Korea, housing as many as 200,000 inmates. The fortunate few who survive the harsh conditions within these camps often draw comparisons to the atrocities witnessed during the Holocaust. Starvation is not an exception, but rather the grim reality that every prisoner faces. Inmates subsist on a meager diet, consisting of a daily slurry of cornmeal and cabbage throughout their existence. To stave off malnutrition, prisoners resort to supplementing their meager rations with rats and insects. Rats became so integral to their diet that the rodent population within the camp dwindled to near extinction, a remarkable feat considering rats' prolific reproductive capacity. On average, a staggering 20 to 25% of the prison population perishes each year due to the deplorable conditions and insufficient sustenance. The prison guards, in a grotesque display of sadism, subject inmates to horrific treatment, using them as outlets for their stress and cruelty. No one is spared from the whims of the merciless prison authorities. Shockingly, even young girls born in the camp may be fed to dogs to cultivate the animal's viciousness. Escaping this nightmarish place is a desperate endeavor for not only the escapee but their entire family, even those unaware of the escape attempt, may face torture as retribution. Pregnancy is strictly forbidden within Camp 22, and those who are discovered to be pregnant often endure gruesome fates. They may be bound to a tree, their feet is forcibly removed from their stomach, and they are then executed. In this grim environment, death within Camp 22 can be considered a mercy, offering release from never-ending suffering for those unlucky enough to be imprisoned within its walls. Number 2. The Arbakir Prison, Turkey Our second case takes us to Arbakir Prison in Turkey. This facility played a central role during one of the most oppressive periods in Turkey's history, spanning the 1980s and 90s. Thousands of Kurdish men and women endured horrifying forms of torture within its walls. At that time, it was infamous as the world's worst prison. Nowadays, it may be considered the second worst, but regrettably, conditions have not improved. In fact, one could argue that they have deteriorated. What makes this situation even more tragic is that alongside the adults who are incarcerated, children are also held within these grim confines. The inmates, often viewed as the dregs of society, are subjected to a range of torment, encompassing physical torture and psychological abuse. On the physical and violent end of the spectrum, inmates endure beatings, violations, mutilations, and are even forced to consume excrement. Some are subjected to electrocution, specifically targeting the genitalia. The psychological torment is equally dehumanizing. Inmates are coerced into saluting the prison director's dog, made to participate in random mock executions that may or may not become a reality, and compelled to bathe in the squalid sewers. To illustrate the desperate circumstances, prisoners frequently embark on dry fasts in protest of the prison conditions, and tragically, more often than not, these protests end in the prisoners succumbing to starvation. In more recent events, four prisoners resorted to setting themselves on fire, while another inmate set his cell ablaze before taking his own life in an act of resistance. Number 3. Mendoza Prison Argentina, the top 90 most dangerous convicts in Argentina, are held in Pavilion 5 of Mendoza Prison. That section is so dangerous that no guard has the balls to enter that section, and they often leave the inmates' meals at predetermined spots around the door that may sound deviously cool to some, but don't be fooled. The prison has a serious overcrowding problem. 1,600 convicts are housed in a facility intended for only 600. There are no mattresses, so prisoners are forced to sleep on the floor, where they are frequently subjected to arbitrary, intense, and repeated torture. Toilets are also non-existent, so prisoners are forced to defecate and urinate in plastic bags. 
There is a literal sewer of garbage, human waste, and slime running through the corridors, and conditions have become so unbearable that there are reports of prisoners literally sewing their mouths shut in protest demanding better living conditions, and it still gets worse. Their food is sludge, and those who aren't strong, fast, or smart enough often go hungry and die under what the authorities have made a habit of calling mysterious circumstances. Number 4. Guldani Prison Georgia They claim that the prison is superior. Although the conflict has ceased, the awful legacy of Guldani Prison remains. In 2012, a 35-year-old ex-prisoner-turned-whistleblower filmed the horrors the detainees face. It was released, Other God's Hands. This film is too gruesome to post here, but I can tell you what they did to inmates every night for decades. Random convicts were frequently loaded with broomsticks, and one of them was included in the videos that were being shown. Their bones were purposefully fractured, and they were all incinerated by the merciless gods. Torture became institutionalized in the 21st century. They tore off my fingernails, bruised my skull, and broke my bones, according to a former prisoner. I'm 43, but I look like an old man. I frequently trip while walking. They claim jails are good, the torture has ended, but I doubt you'd want to do that yourself. Check it out. Number 5. Committee Maximum Security Prison, Kenya. Committee Maximum Security Prison immediately distinguishes itself as a repository for the most hardened criminals. Established in 1954 by British colonizers, the prison was designed according to the antiquated colonial system to house individuals during a state of emergency declared in October 1952. Astonishingly, it still retains its original gallows, serving as a grim testament to its dark history. Regrettably, Kamiti has evolved into a more harrowing place over the past half-century. On one hand, it grapples with severe overcrowding, intended to accommodate 1,200 inmates but currently crammed with nearly 3,000. This overcrowding has spawned severe viral diseases such as HIV-AIDS, syphilis, tuberculosis, and a myriad of illnesses that should typically be under control. What's even more alarming is the persistent unrest and corruption that permeate the prison system. Being a favored dumping ground for political dissidents by the government, Kamiti's population is largely uneducated. This, in turn, has given rise to an internal telephone system within the prison, enabling numerous inmates to defraud unsuspecting Kenyan citizens of their money. Beyond the prison walls, Kamiti Maximum Security Prison is a maelstrom of chaos, where only the most cunning, fearless, and ruthless can endure the challenges that lie behind its formidable walls. Number 6. Gitarama Central Prison, Rwanda. Overcrowding is a pervasive issue in many of the prisons on this list, but Gitarama Central Prison in Rwanda takes it to an inconceivable extreme. Originally designed to accommodate just over 1,300 inmates, this facility now houses a staggering 8,000 prisoners. The living conditions within are nothing short of unbearable. In most cases, even finding a small space to lie down on the floor is considered a luxury. Many inmates are forced to stand throughout the day or negotiate for small portions of the already cramped floor space. This contested territory is far from desirable. It is typically damp and frequently contaminated with raw sewage. Not surprisingly, these deplorable conditions have given rise to a host of complex issues. Tragically, some prisoners have succumbed to diseases and suffocation due to the severe overcrowding. Even a minor foot injury can turn into a death sentence, as gangrene may set in, leaving the inmate with the grim choice of self-amputation or facing death as the gangrene claims their limb. However, the horrors don't end there. There have been instances of inmates resorting to cannibalism out of sheer hunger, and the reality of such acts could be even more horrifying than described given the lack of documentation on the activities behind the prison bars. Compounding the dire situation is the fact that prison guards have been conditioned to view the inmates as subhuman. Last year alone, a staggering 2,000 lives were lost in Rwandan prisons, with an overwhelming majority of these deaths occurring within the grim walls of Gitarama Central Prison. Number 7. Bangkwang Prison, Bangkok, Thailand Bangkwang Prison stands as one of the world's most notorious correctional facilities, infamous for a very specific reason. 
A significant portion of its inmates were once tourists. The 24-in-the-room policy, designed to accommodate more inmates, makes life incredibly challenging, especially when it comes to something as basic as using the restroom. Overcrowding results from a government crackdown on drug trafficking, forcing tourists with minor offenses to share space with prisoners on death row. The offenses that can land you in Bang Kwang are often trivial, such as reading the wrong book, congregating in groups of five, or even eating a sandwich in public. Life in this prison is an excruciating ordeal. During the first three months of their sentence, new inmates are required to wear iron chains. To exacerbate matters, the food they are served is often infested with maggots, and access to clean drinking water is a luxury. But the ordeal doesn't end there. One cannot simply avoid Bang Kwang by being a law-abiding citizen or a tourist. A few years ago, a British man found himself incarcerated after a Thai gang attacked him. Despite losing an eye and suffering severe injuries, he still had to serve time in Bang Kwang for defending himself. Number 8. Patak Island Prison, Russia This prison, often dubbed the Alcatraz of Russia, lives up to its fearsome reputation. It's a place that would strike fear into even the heart of the devil himself. Situated in isolation on the vast Nosovero Lake, this tiny island prison confines 193 inmates, all serving life sentences. Unsurprisingly, these inmates are usually the worst of the worst. Inside the prison's small two-man cells, inmates are locked up for 23 hours a day, making escape virtually impossible. The one hour they are allowed out of their cells is spent in small cages where they can barely move. However, what truly sets this prison apart from Black Dolphin is the appalling lack of basic sanitation facilities. There are no proper toilets or bathrooms. Instead, inmates use steel buckets for their needs and sleep on thin beds. Some have compared the living conditions in Patak Island Prison to that of animals in a zoo during the winter months. This grim reality is exacerbated by the freezing waters surrounding the island, contributing to the broken spirits of its inmates. Number 9. El Salvador, a place worse than hell. If you're wondering what could be worse than hell, let me introduce you to Aldiki Udad, the most notorious prison in all of El Salvador. Its reputation for danger is well-deserved, primarily because it houses two of the world's most infamous gangs, MS-13 and Barrio 18. In this nightmarish place, death often arrives without warning, especially for inmates who are not affiliated with these gangs. From 2004 to 2015, only gang members were sent to this inferno. But even being a gang member does not guarantee safety. Most of the time, your biggest concern isn't rival gang members, but the horrendous living conditions. Aldiki Udad is grossly overcrowded, and securing basic necessities like food or a place to sleep can easily escalate into deadly conflicts with other inmates vying for the same resources. The prison's reputation for lawlessness and violence is so profound that even prison guards fear entering its walls. Consequently, the entire prison system is effectively controlled by the gang members. Number 10. Black Dolphin Prison, Russia If you were to ask any Russian about life in their prisons, they would likely describe it as incredibly harsh. However, the high-security Black Dolphin Prison, located near the Kazakhstan border, takes harshness to a whole new level. This prison, one of Russia's oldest, acquired its name from a statue at its entrance, constructed by the inmates themselves. Ironically, there is very little freedom to be found within these walls. In fact, the only way to escape Black Dolphin is through death, as it exclusively houses inmates with life sentences. The prison accommodates approximately 700 inmates, collectively responsible for a staggering 3,500 murder cases which averages out to at least five victims per inmate. However, murder is not the only dark mark on their records. Black Dolphin is also home to cannibals, violent offenders, maniacs, terrorists, and pedophiles. Inmates at Black Dolphin endure grueling conditions, sharing minuscule 50-square-foot cells secured behind three sets of steel doors. These cells are under constant 24-hour surveillance, with guards conducting rounds every 15 minutes. Inmates rarely leave their cells, and when they do, they are blindfolded and forced to walk bent at the waist, preventing them from having any sense of their surroundings. There is no prison yard, and the only meals provided are basic servings of soup and bread consumed in their dismal cells. 
If there were ever a prison that could be likened to hell, Black Dolphin would undoubtedly be a top contender.